to all weird and wonderful countries and continents, but there's just something about coming to South America and especially Argentina. People ask me back home, friends and family, colleagues, where is your most favorite place to play? And although I shouldn't say this, I have to say that Argentina is probably my most favorite. I find the people here very warm, inviting and very passionate and also very educated on music but also very open-minded and I love that. Uh, I'm a DJ that plays lots of different styles. It's not like I'm fixated on one like kind of genre in electronic music. It's like I'm playing a lot of house, tech house, techno. It's like a mixture of everything and it's nice to know that the people here go along for the ride with you as well without making assumptions and judgments. They're just here for a good time. Life is precious and time is precious and not being able to go to a club every weekend and listen to music and relax and dance, it's so important and I never actually realized how important not just music is but my job as well. Like It's important because every weekend I get the chance to make people smile and dance and forget about all the bullshit in life. You can censor that if you want but uh, it feels amazing for me to be able to travel again and meet wonderful people like you guys and make people smile and dance again. So I'm humbled to be called a DJ and humbled to be in Argentina. Yeah, I got a chance to go to the stadium of the Boca Juniors and I actually know who they are like from, I think Man United played them, played them recently, didn't they? I had a lot of friends when I posted the Boca Juniors shirt asking me, please get me a shirt. So like they're a big team, but even in Europe as well. So, and I've never been to, a, believe it or not, never been to a football match. And I've never been to a football stadium as well. So it was, it was like super endearing for me to go and see that as well. And then they gave me a t-shirt with my name on and then they gave me a, like a lifetime membership as well. So next time I come, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go and watch them as well. So I'm gonna take that experience away from me as well. But it's been a really amazing weekend and I've, I was so excited to come out here as well because it's been a few years since I came here. And every show has been amazing and I've met obviously you guys, so we're all friends as well. So as well as like DJing and playing amazing shows, it's the people that you meet along the way and the experiences that you share together as well, which is, the weekend has been definitely fulfilled with that. And as most people know, or may not know, if you play a vocal record in a club, the woman will dance. And if a woman will dance, the guy will dance around the woman. So the whole clubs were bouncing and dancing again. It was a really, really special time to, to be going again because people were just singing to records again rather than uh, being monotonous in a corner and just going boom, boom, which is also good. People were singing really happy again and I love vocal music. I come from a soulful background, so I found that really inspiring. And I'm sat here right now and traveling around the world and you know, putting food on the table from this thing that I call dance music. So I'm, I'm really lucky and I'm, I guess you build your own look in a way, but I, I've had some like amazing people around me and because you're only as good as the people that you surround yourself with because it, it becomes to a point where you need an agent and you need a manager, you need people like that have your back because it gets fickle in, in some, some ways or another and it gets hectic and sometimes people want to exploit you or whatever. So you need people fighting your corner. And the people that I work with now, I've worked with since the beginning. Everyone stayed the same, we're a family, we're a team, and it's important that I acknowledge their success as well as mine, because together, that's, this is why I'm here.